Hey folks, so today I wanted to take a look at TipTap. Now, I recommended this in my last video on Lexical, and I think for most people this is probably the best choice for a rich text editor at the moment. Okay, so, so here's our site. You'll notice that it says it's a headless editor. And what that means is it doesn't come with any sort of styling, it's unopinionated by default, and in fact, this one's even agnostic of platform. So as you'll see here in the install section, you can see interfaces with basically every JavaScript framework out there. Some of those through community efforts, but you can use vanilla JavaScript, whatever. So TipTap is based on another library called ProseMirror. And this is one of the best base platforms to build on top of for a rich text editor. The only problem is it's fairly complex. But, I mean, you can see here, a lot of companies, New York Times, Atlassian, using this behind their rich text editing and other capabilities. So, pretty awesome. But again, this, if we start looking at the docs here, maybe the reference manual, is just a lot of overhead that you need to be aware of. And so TipTap, I think it was originally built for Vue. Now it's been made agnostic with their 2.0 version. And it's really quite solid. But what's really amazing about this is just the number of out-of-the-box functions here. And we'll take a look at some of these, even like collaboration, which is incredible to have out of the box. So how do we use this? Well, first we're gonna go ahead and create an application. So I'm gonna use Vue, but this could be React, it could be whatever. So we'll just do a npm init view, if I can spell correctly. And, and that'll open up the view initializer. So I'll just call this tip tap test. Sure, take TypeScript, don't care about JSX. We're just gonna do single page, so I don't really care about that. Yeah, I'll just skip the rest of these. We'll go in there, and PMI, and we'll open this up in VS Code. There we go. So now if I open up a browser window here, there we go, you did it, beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and just remove most of this. We'll remove this thing on the side here. So go to app.view, and we can shrink this down, actually just hide it all together, and we'll get rid of the welcome. And for fun, let's get rid of this view logo. And we'll just do tip tap is awesome. Okay, so here on the right here, we'll just add our editor. So first we'll go to components, create a new one. So we'll just call this editor.view. But before we can do that, we're actually going to need to open up a new terminal session and we'll install some packages. So we'll do npm install and we'll add tip tap view in this case. We we'll actually wanna do tip tap view three and then tip tap starter kit. You're just gonna to wanna to follow whichever framework you're using, whatever it recommends. So go ahead and run this, beautiful. Okay, so now if we come back here, now I can create my editor component. So let's go ahead and start with a script setup and then we will do, what is this complaining about? Oh, yes, let's include TypeScript. Okay, and then in this case, I'm gonna use the composition API. So let's go ahead and do const editor is going to be equal to use editor and we'll go ahead and oh what's going on with my vs code all right we'll just import it manually so import use editor as well as editor content from tip tap u3 beautiful okay and then we're also going to want to import the starter kit tip tap starter kit Oop. there we go Okay, so we've got our editor and we want to add an object here. And so we can define something like the content. So we can add whatever default content we want to exist in there. So we can add a paragraph tag. Okay, content. And then we'll add the extensions. So we'll add to start with just our starter kit. And then what we'll do down in below, add our template. And this is just going to be the editor content and we'll pass in our editor. Beautiful. Okay, so now all we should have to do is come in here and add editor. Okay, so come back here, hello world. Now, really quickly, let's just do a little bit of a inspection here so I can style this a bit. So it's using class prose mirror, okay. So just to make it a little bit more visible, let's come in here, where do we store this? Main.css, so let's just come down here Prose mirror, background, it's gonna be white. Let's just make sure that that's, okay. And we'll add a color of just black. So that way it's very easy to read. And let's jack up the font size a little bit. 1.5 rem, sure. All right, so check out how cool this is. So now we're able to play around. And actually, you know what? Those 
border radiuses are bothering me a little bit. Let's do a little bit of border radius and let's add some padding. Beautiful. Okay, and so out of the box, so this is using the starter kit, which comes with all sorts of things like a bulleted list. Wow, how very cool. It also includes markdown support. So we do like a header. Could do two. This is an H2. So that actually works out of the box. Now, what's really cool is if we take this a step further and go to the collaborative editing space. So what we'll do is first come back here and we're going to need to install some new dependencies. So there's a few different ways you can handle this. We're going to go for the most basic way. So we're going to add a couple of new dependencies, which are going to be nope, tip tap extension collaboration, as well as we're going to add YJS. So YJS is this library for doing CRDT, which I always forget what CRDT stands for conflict free replicated data type. So this is where if you're making interactive applications, think Figma, think Google Docs, things like that, where you're having multiple people act in the same set of data, it automatically takes care of all of the synchronization and all of that. They've got this WebRTC form of communication. You can also do WebSocket, and but we'll go ahead and do this just for this little demo. Ah, it would help if I could spell. Excellent. Okay, so that's looking good. So now if we come back to the editor, what we're going to do is come into my script and I'll create a new y.doc. Now, this is essentially creating a new document and actually need to import. Okay, so we've got our new Y doc and I need to include the new keyword that would help. And now we're creating this document that YJS is gonna take care of all the synchronization around. But what we also need to do is create a provider and this is what's going to enable us to actually communicate. So we'll do const provider is gonna be equal to, we're gonna do WebRTC to make sure I spell this correctly, WebRTC provider. Okay, so we've imported this, and now what we need to do is just pass in a document name. So tip tap test, and then we'll give this the Y doc. Excellent. And so now the last thing that we need to do is we need to actually add the collaboration extension. So we'll do collaboration, which I'll need to import. So we'll do import collaboration from tip tap, what an extension collaboration. Beautiful. Okay. So we'll do collaboration and then we'll pass this in our document. So, but what is this complaining about? This is because we need to call this on configure. Now, if we reload this, everything should behave exactly as it was before, except now to drag these side by side. So one thing that you will notice, <laughs> and I believe this just has something to do with the hot reload that we have going on here. Is every time I reload this page, like this is just has to do with the development server. This wouldn't actually be something you'd experience in your real environment, but let's close this out and look at that. I mean, how cool is that? So as you can imagine, <laughs> building this yourself would be a total pain. And the fact that this is all out there, open source, I mean, how incredible. So I mean, just looking at the extensions they have, they've got things like mentions somewhere here, mentions. So this is something that honestly, like I've, built an application before that re relied heavily on mentions and it was a total pain to do manually. So the fact that they've got this just working super cleanly, if we look at how this actually works, all you do is install the extension for mention. You know, here you go, you change what it looks like and yeah, pretty easy. And if we go back to that list, hashtags, I mean, there's all sorts of good stuff. Oh yeah, one last thing we'll do before we close it out. There's one other aspect of this that we can make even cooler. And that is the ability to have a little note, like a little label of who's making the modifications. So what we'll do is add a new extension, extension collaboration cursor. And so now all I need to do is import collaboration cursor from tip tap. There we go. And then what I can do is just basically everything else can stay the same. The key thing I need to add is going to be this collaboration cursor block and we'll configure that and what we'll do is add a provider is going to be what do we call it just provider and then we've got a user now naturally this app is so simple there isn't any concept of a user so we'll just add some random name 
and we can give this some sort of color. Let me just type in random color into uh, DuckDuckGo, and this is what it gave me. Not sure if Bender would love that color, but we'll see. Okay, and one last thing that we'll do, I'm just gonna steal from the documentation here. They've already created a little CSS definition here. So we'll go into main CSS, just add this. So we've got this collaboration cursor carrot, and yeah, so if I come back here, this should all be good. So if I come back here, we should have to refresh these, I believe. Okay, wow, it is working. Look at that. So we can see now, of course, we'll see on both sides that this is, you know, the same user because we've only defined one. But if you actually had a user authentication set up and I was logged in in two separate screens here, we would be able to see two different users. And so this is, I mean, giving us essentially what Google Docs does. How cool. Okay, I think that's a good stopping point, but definitely check this out. Again, this is just tiptap.dev. If you're looking for a rich text editor, this is honestly the way to go at this point in time. They've even got a screencast section that they're working on, it looks like. But very cool. Check it out. I will see you in the next one.